Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome! This is going to be the pilot run of the Beefalo Bart Gaming Challenge. And what this will be is we'll describe a certain feature that will be the, the main focus of the challenge. And what you'll have to do is complete the challenge by actually getting the actual function or feature to work correctly and then making a short video showing hey this is what it is this it's working and try to get your link posted in the Beefalo Bart Gaming Discord channel and the first person who um, submits their video will be the winner and if we get a good enough turnout then I will talk to some of um, some of the contacts that I have and other people and see about getting some prizes and we'll get a, a you know, something together for that so, for this pilot run, what I've come up with challenge-wise, and for all these challenges, I would recommend creating a blank brand new project. In this situation, we're going to use a third-person blueprint or, or example, and that's what I've done here is I've created a blank third-person template project called the Stealth Challenge. And what the challenge is going to be is you need to create a character that whenever you're in game, whenever you hit play, you can hit any key you wish to, to assign, the one key, G key, five key, whatever you want to put on it. Or, you know, you can set a pressure plate where you step on it, and there'd probably be a better way. Set a little pad out. No, we'll just leave it as a key. You hit whatever key you choose to hit, and whenever you hit that key, your character goes from visible to invisible into a stealth mode but to make it more challenging you know that, that would be too easy but to make it more difficult the challenge is to not just toggle visibility okay here I am now I'm gone but to actually make your character fade out and disappear you can still be running around still have your collision and everything else in in game but your character needs to be completely invisible and whenever you hit the key again, you're going to toggle it to come back to visibility again, and you'll fade back in. The key ingredient to this is the character must fade. It can't just be an instant transition. It needs to be a series of whatever it takes, say, two or three seconds, we'll say, to slowly fade into invisibility. All right, so that's the challenge. And I'm going to attempt it as well, even though I'm not eligible to win. But what I'm going to do is give it a good shot, see what I can do, see if I can get the same kind of functionality. And then whenever we get the first submissions, I'll go through, review them, and see if it's as it should be. And the first person to send their link to their video showing, hey, this is it, go in, watch the video, and if that's exactly what it's supposed to be, then you win the challenge. So... I would like a minimum of five people to do this challenge. So get started. If you're unclear on the rules, let me know in Discord and I will let you know again. But the whole primary thing is to be able to hit a key on your keyboard or on your controls or whatever you want. But when you hit that key, your character, your third person character, needs to slowly fade away and become invisible. And then when you hit the key again, it toggles it in reverse, and then you become visible again. So it has to be a fade transition in and out. All right, so good luck, and make sure you go ahead and give this a shot. That'll be interesting. I've never done it before. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm sure somebody's done it. But go ahead and give it a try. And let me know in Discord if you're going to do it you're gonna try it whatever and then again whenever you get done do a short YouTube video submit it and we'll go ahead and watch it and we'll pick a winner from there alright guys good luck and we'll see you soon